Hi, I'm Jamie Hartley and welcome to Crossfader, the online DJ school. In this video, we're going to break down and explain what Serato DVS is. First of all, DVS stands for Digital Vinyl System. But we're not just limited to using vinyl when we're set up in DVS mode. DVS basically allows you to control the Serato software, i.e. the tracks, the speed of the tracks, whether you want to scratch with them or mix with them. It allows you to control those songs using something called a control signal. Is it all starting to sound a bit confusing? Well, don't worry. Control signals come in all different colors, whether they be um, vinyl and sizes. They also come in CD form, or you could put the file on a USB stick. You'll hear what a control signal sounds like later, but using these special control vinyl or CDs, you can then plug in to certain Serato enabled mixers, Serato enabled controllers that are DVS compatible, and even sound cards like this, which is an old school Brain SL3, or the Denon DS1 is what's currently on the market. Using a combination of these sound cards, you can basically plug in any combination of CDJs, turntables, and mixers together to control the Serato DJ Pro software. This is a really useful expansion pack that's definitely recommended if you're a Serato DJ user. We're going to take a close look how to set it up and just some things to watch out for when it comes to setting it up. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. If you have any comments, drop them below. Let's get stuck in. Let's now check out how Serato DVS works with something like the Pioneer DJM S9 mixer. This is a Serato DJ enabled mixer that has the DVS expansion that comes with it. So you can plug and play straight into the Serato DJ Pro software with something like this, two turntables or even two CDJs in DVS mode. All you need is a USB cable going from the back of the mixer to your laptop. And then we need to select what channel we're using and what, which USB sound source we're going to use. These are located here and here. I've just got it set up on channel one and channel two with USB A. Now, if we move over to Serato and look in the settings screen, there are a few options we need to get familiar with. In the audio tab, make sure that you've got the right deck setup selected. So I'm using turntables. So as you can see, we've got that selected. If you're using CDJs, just select CDJs. And if you've got a custom setup with maybe one CDJ and one turntable or something like that, then you can actually select that within the custom um, configuration utility window. Next, if we just put the needle on the record and play a song, you'll notice something called a scope appear in the calibration deck. This scope allows you to make sure that Serato is hearing the control signal as best as it can. You can change the balance of the control using these two dials here. And the idea is to get a perfect circle. If you can't quite see it, you can zoom in and just balance this circle to try and get a nice, clean, circular looking scope. Next, the noise sensitivity. You can change how much signal is picked up either through the needle or through the setup. If you're using CDJs, I'd recommend keeping this on minus 24. But if you're maybe a scratch DJ that wants to do little scribbles, like this, maybe open up the noise sensitivity to somewhere around minus 60. The more you open it up, the tighter you could get the scratch sound. Once you're happy with the setup of the scopes, you can then go back out of the settings and just get familiar with the different uh, modes that we can choose from. The modes can be found here and here for each deck, absolute and relative mode. Most DJs will be using DVS in relative mode. This just means that when the track's playing, you can use the hot cues to jump around. It doesn't matter where you are on the control signal, it will keep playing from that point rather than jump to a new point in the track. However, absolute mode will go on the absolute position of the control sound. So if you're three minutes into the control signal, you'll be three minutes into the song. So if I bring that back to the start of the record, it will go back to the start of the record. If I skip in slightly, it'll be in the track. But you'll notice now the hot cues don't work. So if you're going to use any of the performance features, then make sure you're in relative mode. If you just want to strictly mix in DVS mode, like you're mixing normal vinyl on turntables, then use it in absolute mode. Now let's quickly explain how the technology behind DVS works. So what Serato is doing is hearing a control signal now. If I switch this over to phono, 
we can hear what the control signal that's pressed onto this vinyl sounds like. It's this really annoying high-pitched sound, but that pitch, that frequency, is what Serato reads as the zero position. So it's, there's no alteration in the BPM or the pitch. That is at zero. Now, if we slow the control signal down, the pitch also goes down as well. So make sure if you are using CDJs, you don't have any key lock or master tempo turned on. It needs to be able to hear the change in the pitch of the control signal. This then tells the Serata DJ software that this frequency equates to, say, something like plus 5% faster with the control signal, so 5% faster with the song in the software. A few things you'll need to bear in mind is that when you're using DVS, the BPM won't change unless the track is playing because it needs to hear the control signal to determine what the BPM of the track is. So if I just moved the picture just now and press start, the BPM will jump suddenly to a different BPM. Again, when you're moving the pitch, it might just take a split second to catch up to what the actual BPM is. There is no normal Q button. You would have to use a hot cue to cue your track up because the record needs to keep playing. Serato DVS also works in a very similar way if you're plugging a turntable into a DVS enabled controller. So just plug the turntable into the phono source in the back of the controller. Then in Serato DJ Pro settings, you'll need to make sure that you go to the expansion packs and enable vinyl CDJ control. After that's done, the calibration decks come up and then make sure to check whether the sound uh, control signal is coming through first of all. If it's not, then that means we need to switch the source on the back of the controller. Once you've switched on the back of the controller to say that we've got turntables plugged in, do the same thing again and make sure that the scope is nice and balanced. All the controls stay the same. For example, your hot cues, rolls, performance pad modes, loops. You can do all of that from the controller, but actually use the record to speed up, slow down and scratch with. I hope that's now helped you to understand what DVS is and how to get it set up. I've been a long time user of Serato DVS because I've been a club DJ for a lot of years. And what DVS does is allows you to unlock all of Serato's hot cues, looping, all of the functions that you use in Serato, but on pretty much any club setup, especially if you're using an external sound card, you can then plug in any combination of turntables or mixer into this and still use all of your prepared points. Now, you might want to think about linking DVS up with something like the DDJ SP1 from Pioneer or some external MIDI controller so that you can access those hot cues and loops and even map out certain effects. But it's a very robust and versatile expansion that I definitely recommend if you're a long time Serato user or if you're just getting into Serato and want to eventually play in clubs on the Serato software. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial video very soon.